I want to extend my deepest gratitude to Martha Long for inspiring this touching and imaginative story. Ever since I can remember, I've felt a disconnect between who I was on the outside and who I felt I was on the inside. This secret of mine, heavy and delicate, was tucked away deep in my heart, unseen by the eyes of those around me, especially my mom. I always wondered if the day would come when I could let this part of me breathe freely, without fear or shame. One evening, my world shifted in a way I could have never anticipated. My mom, who had been rummaging through old boxes in the garage, emerged with a sense of purpose, holding an object veiled in dust and mystery. It was an ornate mirror, its frame adorned with intricate designs, whispering tales of old. She caught me eyeing it with curiosity as she wiped the dust off its surface. Come here, she said, her voice softer than usual. I found something you might find. Interesting. I approached, unsure of what warranted such a mysterious introduction. The mirror seemed ordinary at first glance, but the way my mom looked at it, as if it held secrets and promises, piqued my curiosity further. This is no ordinary mirror, she began, her eyes meeting mine in the reflection. It's been in our family for generations, said to possess magic for those who truly believe. My skepticism must have been evident because she chuckled lightly before continuing. I know how it sounds. But sometimes, we need a little magic in our lives. I want you to think about what you desire most, something that's true to your heart. If your wish is sincere, the mirror will grant it by morning. Her words hung in the air, heavy with implications. Did she know? Had my secret been so transparent that even the veil I carefully constructed couldn't hide it? Mom, I started, my voice barely above a whisper. What if? What if what I want more than anything is to? To be myself? To be the girl I've always known I am inside? There it was. My truth, laid bare between us, reflected in the glass that promised transformation. Her eyes, filled with understanding and love, met mine in the mirror. Then you make that wish, my love. And if it's true, if it's who you really are, then it will be. That night, with the moon casting a silver glow through my window, I stood before the mirror. My heart was pounding, a tumultuous sea of hope and fear. With every fiber of my being, I wished to wake up as the girl I knew I was meant to be. Please, I whispered, tears tracing paths down my cheeks. Let me be her. Let me be Martha. Morning light crept through the curtains, coaxing my eyes open. A sense of peace enveloped me, a stark contrast to the storm of emotions from the night before. I sat up, my heart racing with anticipation and fear. The moment of truth was upon me. Rushing to the mirror, my breath caught in my throat. There, reflected back at me, was Martha. The girl who had lived in my dreams, who I had longed to be, was finally staring back at me with wide, tearful eyes. My wish, my truest desire, had been granted. My mom's gentle knock on the door pulled me from my reverie. Martha? She called softly, using my true name for the first time. Are you ready to meet the world as you? Yes, mom, I answered, my voice steady and filled with a newfound confidence. I'm ready. As I stepped into the new day, hand in hand with my mom, I knew that my journey was just beginning. There would be challenges and triumphs, tears and laughter. But for the first time, I was facing it all as the truest version of myself. And for that, I was eternally grateful to Martha Long, for inspiring a story that mirrored my own in ways I could have never imagined.